One of Chattanooga's all-time favorite fireworks and music celebrations has just wrapped up at Coolidge Park. Pops on the River returned tonight. It was canceled two years in a row because of COVID. But tonight, Karen Aguilar was there and has the crowd reaction. Karen. Cindy, just an hour ago, fireworks popped off in Renaissance Park. You can see families smiling from ear to ear. Here's a recap of the celebration. There was a 4th of July celebration at Coolidge Park on Saturday, and thousands of visitors came for Pops on the River, ready to dance, drink, and check out the countless vendors, including new art vendors. Some visitors were young. I looked and water. Others older. Ruth Kittle comes to it every year, except the last two years when it was canceled because of COVID. It killed us. I mean, um, the kids were disappointed. They're crying. They didn't understand. But now it's back and has deep meaning for Ruth. At a time when things can be so divided, how important is it for people to gather and celebrate the freedoms that we enjoy today? I think people need to take advantage of it. You. My husband died in December. You don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. People came from all over to take advantage of Pops on the River. These two even drove in from Atlanta. Was it worth the drive? Exactly. Yes. Different people, you know, different atmosphere. Yes. It is totally different. If we can get together and have a good time, it's fun. This couple is in from Nashville. It's such a nice, like, community just scene and everyone's, like, super friendly. But it got everything we were expecting, just the community and the music and the fireworks eventually tonight. On this celebration, it's extremely hot. People are just trying to cool off behind me there on the fountain, and some are even getting some popsicles like myself. The heat did not stop the festivities. The best part? It is free. Free, free, free. People love free. Who doesn't want free fireworks? Free fun and free music. Kittle says the celebration was a time to come together. Everybody needs to put our differences aside. Everybody needs to be one family. Organizers say they would like to host it again next year. Reporting live in the studio, Karen Aguilar, Local 3 News.